Hey Andrew, here's your finished hallowed ground glove. I tried something new for the weathering on this. I'm going more for the uh, poster look, I guess, which is why the tips don't have the tons of red paint and shit on them. You still have that little dot of brazing stuff and that weird grind on the blade. <laughs> you still get all the details, of course. I really love how this turned out. I think this is going to be the glove on my site. Uh, I'm also able to make the green hems brown now. It's annoying, but I'm able to do it. So, hopefully I will soon replace all the green hemmed stock pictures. Just look at the tips. Blades. They all have edges on them. They're not sharp, though. They are pointy as shit. Look at the rings. And now I'll show you your daddy's secret. And here's your daddy's secret glove. Parts of this glove are actually still a little bit wet, so particularly the right side. Uh, so it might be a little bit lighter than this, but this is basically how it's going to look. And yes, the positioning is correct. There's supposed to be a ton of space after the leather. There's supposed to be a ton of cobber left. I do it on purpose. I think I'm also going to make this the stock photo for the Daddy Secret also, because this turned out really well. rings and the cuts. Uh, from everything I know, there's not actually a second pinky cut in the leather. A lot of people will put a second pinky cut, but I haven't seen a single picture that looks like there's a second pinky cut. So, just one cut. These all have edges too, but they're not sharp. Just, again, pointy as hell. I love that you can see the back plate hanging over the leather. This glove's chunky. This glove also has the brown hem. Which I think looks a lot better than the green hem. Flat ass back plate with all the bends. Anyway, let me know what you think, man. Hope you like them. I'll get them out sometime this week. Hopefully tomorrow.